because I found the Asian culture so 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 interesting to me man and the people man here I wish um, we have the same thing here in the UK right our friend the people huh no are you happy about Isabel? Oh. I am pretty sure you may have come across these places you know about them you search about them you research about them you want to go there you dream about visiting these places Whatever big cities around the world, you know about these places. These places are famous. They're well known. They're well known. But there's a certain places people overlook. Places like Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. You may have never heard about it or know nothing about it, but you should know about it because it's a big deal. It's a must. Yes. I love going to Asia because it's one of the places, continents I truly love. Yeah, let's say it got it all for me, man. If I want to relax, if I want to like just chill, if I want food, if I want to meet all the most amazing people, Southeast Asia got it all for me. You just tick all the boxes, literally tick all the boxes. Is it honorated places? Are uh, the kind of places I like going to? I'm not, I'm not joking. I like going to that because I don't know nothing about it. So as you, so as many people don't know nothing about. It. The country or the place. See, so places like Malaysia, not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, of course, maybe people, oh, okay, go on, on Google and type in the same thing. Oh, Malaysia, I just want to know some quick facts. Yeah, the first thing you'll be presented with is that Malaysia is a Muslim state. Of course, second thing I'll say, it's, it's a multi diverse country. Still, people don't tend to go there a lot. There's still tourists go there. Uh, let's say Kuala Lumpur is among one of the most visited cities in the world. Kuala Lumpur, yeah. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, more than amazing, so nice. The thing is, like, let me tell you a quick story, right? I never knew nothing about Malaysia, unless you had zero experience. The only way I came to find out about Malaysia, if my memory served me well, I was in Phuket, in Phuket, Thailand, Bhutan, and I was just chilling, I was staying in a, at a hostel, and then one day, and this Malaysian guy checked in, I didn't even knew it was from Malaysia, so he checked into my hostel. It was a very friendly guy, man. It was so, so friendly, that guy. And then we started to talk. He asked me a question. Oh, where are you from? I was like, oh, really? You know what I mean? Like, he just asked me, like, it was so cool, mate. He's like, you, you like food? I was like, yeah, absolutely. I love food. So that's one of the reasons why I travel the most. So I was like, okay, if you really love food, then there's one place you need to go to. I was like, well, what is it? It was showing me pictures. I was like, yo, you need to go to Malaysia. I was like, really? I don't know nothing about Malaysia, so that's the beauty of it. You need to go, and then you need to prove people wrong, right? You need to see things right, and then I promise you, you're gonna thank me. I was like, okay, I get curious, and I was like, how far is it? So the good thing is, it's not far. So that's the thing about it. So from Bataan here, yeah, you can fly to Penang, literally, fly there an hour, it's very, very quick on the plane, and guess what? It's very cheap as well to fly. I was like, oh, okay, I'm sold. I'm gonna go to. You. I went to Mal I went to Penan, or at the airport, and I also came across by some few Malaysian family as well. The like the ladies, the the old ladies, pretty much like the ladies. They're so so nice. It was like, yo. I was like, yeah, I'm going to Malaysia. I asked me, are you going there? Like, yeah, where are you gonna go? I was like, I'm, I'm gonna check out Penan, and and then I don't know where to go. It's like, oh, you need to go to Kuala Lumpur. It's a great city as well. I was like, oh, really? It's like, yeah. So, and. When I was there, and I came to see so many like different culture, different people from different backgrounds. It's fascinating. I felt so at home, and that's the beauty of it. And I love it. I love it so much. So, and then I was like, okay, you know what? It's time for me to try the food. Yup, my God, man. You see, Malaysian like flavor. It just reminds me of the African flavor, West African food. It's so good, man. And it just reminds me. It just gives me like a flashback of. And some of the food that my mom has cooked for me over the years and I absolutely felt like I'm at home you know what I mean so and I started to eat all the food and interact with the people the people are absolutely lovely and I was like I don't understand why people don't come to this country it's so amazing man I was I was beginning to love Malaysia I was I was so, I was starting to love Malaysia so much man and I met some few backpackers as well along the way interact with them and then we all came to love and Penang exploring the source and the street art the street art is absolutely sick they're so so good man like it's so creative it's absolutely creative and I of course when I jump on a bike and 
I did some polls and stuff like that and I posted on Instagram wow this country is truly underrated man it's literally it's so cheap like transportation getting around it was so bloody easy I don't know because maybe maybe because my currency is quite heavy but it's maybe triple or double the, the currency of the, the ringgit in Malaysia but I, I, I was like yeah man this this is the place I want to like be coming to for a very a very long time and I was like you know what because I started getting into uh, making videos like okay and I was like okay since I'm absolutely loving it here in Penang uh, in Penang I was like okay you know what I think I should pick up my camera and start recording things and yeah man, I started recording things and I started making video about Malaysia and in Kuala Lumpur as well and things start to kick off yeah, and you know the Malaysian people tend to love the content I create as well and I was like you know what I'm from Penang and I took a bus right to Kuala Lumpur I mean I took a plane to Kuala Lumpur I took a plane I touched down and yeah I was so excited of course jump on the escalator I was going crazy just me just being me man and of course I made a video about oh the five things that surprised me about Kuala Lumpur hey I didn't actually expect that because I don't I, I knew nothing about the country right everything looks so bloody developed man it's so modern I'm loving it man the night market is absolutely insane that's why some locals say I went to the most touristy like night market a lot night market so and in Bukit Binta I was staying around that area man but the night market was so full of life man different culture different people the food is so rich and uh, man, it's just buzzing man of course it rained it rained big time man so yeah man I, I just keep loving Malaysia and I was like yeah what is the kind of place man I, I was so me I was so happy I never felt so happy and I was like okay maybe it might be the, it might be the same thing if I go to Singapore I went to Singapore and I met some friends there the people are fine they're cool as well but you know deep down I didn't actually felt the vibe that I was getting from um, Malaysia compared to Singapore this video is not about Singapore Malaysia no I promise you it's just my experience when I was in Malaysia in general and why Malaysia is so underrated so yeah man and I left Kuala Lumpur I made a few videos about Kuala Lumpur Singapore is absolutely gorgeous so futuristic so good so I went back to Malaysia and then I started revisiting certain places I went back to Penang and because I want to try the Nasi Lemak I want to try more of the street food there and yeah man I just love Malaysia so much and that's how I get to, that's how I get to love Malaysia my experience and I was like okay Malaysia of course man it's so underrated if you go through my channel I've made a lot of video about Malaysia because I want this channel to focus on Southeast Asia because like Asia is the continent for me see so sometimes it's good to like go into certain places and explore and when you find something that actually represents you that makes you happy that actually bring the best out of you and that's the sort of things that you should focus on and of course my focus in it and then at the same time trying to do other things that can actually fulfill that thing that makes you so so special so that's the reason why I try my best now from now on to focus this channel on creating Asian videos whether it be Malaysian videos Singapore or going to other Asian countries like Vietnam the Philippines or going to Cambodia and Vietnam all those countries yeah so I want I want that because I found the Asian culture so 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 interesting to me man and the people man here I wish um, we have the same thing here in the UK right our friend the people huh? some people um, don't get me wrong they're very friendly especially um, when you go to the northern part of England right because like those people they're quite chill but in the city and London it's not friendly at all so London we all know is a very is a very well-known city yeah man so I think like, Malaysia is an absolutely underrated country and I, ha I want you if you ever got a chance like if you are in, in in Thailand or if you're in neighboring country like Laos like Cambodia Vietnam I advise you I please I advise you to pay Malaysia a visit give it a try and if you love food you're never gonna be disappointed I promise you so that's it so that's my advice and that's my story how I, how I get to love Malaysia how Malaysia has impacted me in a positive way and how I see myself living in Malaysia in the near future maybe Malaysia is not for you but at least give it a try you never know you see everyone got um, places that they truly love right 
some people they just made video about the Philippines, some people made video about Thailand, about Vietnam, other countries like England or America, some people make video about different things that makes them tick, but they're interested. So that's why this channel I just made video about Asia, right? Asia because I love Asia, yes. If you're thinking, my background is African and I'm from London and yeah, I'm black. As you already saw, I'm black, yo. I'm black. I'm black, yo. So I always say this, right, in my videos. So respect go a long way, especially in in in, in total world countries like Asia, in Africa. Respect, man. If you don't have money to give to someone, but if you respect them, the way you talk to them, the way you behave, the way you respect certain things that like they believe in, man, they're gonna accept you. They're gonna absolutely. They're gonna be like, wow, you you come from a good home. That's what I tend to portray. You know what I mean? So thank you for watching. So yeah, Malaysia. It's one of those countries that is so underrated.